I have a project here, Xcode Demo, that I've used before. And what I'm going to do is now look at some of the additional workspace window commands and features. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go to the view controller implementation file, which is the longest file and I've already used it to do some testing down here. So what I'm going to do is come up here to find and I have two types of finds. I have command F and the find command here which will let me find something within the file. So let me see what I want to find. I'm going to look for void. And you see there are three occurrences. I can go from one to the other. Notice that I wrap around. All of this is normal behavior for a find command. I can also switch from find to replace, in which case I get the ability to put a replace string here. And all of that works within the currently open file. I can come over here to the search navigator or to find in project, and I can come here and say find text, and I'm going to say containing, because I want the broadest possible view. And notice the word I last found is here. I can look for text containing void, and lo and behold, I have 11 results as opposed to the three results here in this single file. And what you can see is that this file, which is viewcontroller.m, when I did the find here with command F, I found the three occurrences within this file. When I do a search in the project, I do get those three occurrences here, but I also find the occurrences of void in other files in the project. And I can click on them here and go immediately to those lines of code. So I have the ability to find within a single file with the command F or find here, or to find in the project, again, either with the command here or by going to the search navigator here. And I also have here the ability to switch to replacing after I have done a find. So I have the ability to search in the entire project or in a single file to search for find and to do a replace if I want to. So that gives me the basics of navigating based on content for which I want to search or replace. Those features are really not particularly different from other development environments you may have used. I also have the ability down here to limit my find in various ways in this constraint area. So we have other features here, such as you can ignore case, match case. You can look at containing, starting with and ending with, and so forth. And here is where they are in Xcode.